Food Security in India Green Revolution was started with an aim to achieve food security in India. Due to this, food grain production in India has increased. The highest rise in food grain production can be seen from year 1980 to 1990. In 2000, India's total food grain production reached 200 million tons. The large variety of crops grown in India ensures self-sufficiency in food in worst conditions. The food security system in India comprises of buffer stock and public distribution system. Every year, after the harvest of food grains like wheat and rice, the government buys food grains from farmers through the Food Corporation of India. Food grains are stored in warehouses as buffer stock. The buffer stock is used to prevent the shortage of food in adverse conditions like crop failure and natural calamity. The government declares minimum support price for food grains in every sowing season. Food grains from buffer stock are supplied to poor sections all over India through the public distribution system. A ration card is required to buy goods like wheat, sugar, kerosene from a fair price shop. If we look back in history, the rationing of food in India began after the Bengal famine in 1943. There was severe shortage of food in India in the 1950s and the 1960s. In the 1970s, three important food intervention programs were introduced to tackle the shortage of food. Public Distribution System, PDS, Integrated Child Development Services, ICDS, and Food for Work, FFW. Many poverty alleviation programs, PAPs, have been introduced from time to time to enhance food security by increasing the income of poor people.